How's it going? My name is Patrick Karens, and I'm in a group with Megan Karens, and we are group 4A. Um, we looked into the genetically modified salmon case. A little background on the case is that Aqua Advantage Salmon, engineered by the company Aqua Bounty Technologies, is looking to become the first genetically modified animal protein approved by the FDA. Um, the pros of this form of production are that Aqua Advantage are identical to other Atlantic salmon and produce the same growth hormone as native salmon. Also, these fish will be grown at FDA regulated land based facilities. Um, but despite these facts, our group is arguing that producing generally modified salmon, genetically modified salmon, produces too many, uh, carries too many risks and should not be allowed. This type of factory farming is corrupted as animals are mistreated and fed additives, including antibiotics that could harm humans. If genetically modified fish have potentially harmful materials in them, it is certainly the case that we should not produce them. Nothing as important as personal safety, and we should make strides to prevent any harm from being done. In addition, the so called Sterile fish have the ability to escape on uh, regulated areas and harm endangered salmon. The health and safety of endangered species is valuable in this day and age and should not be something that we jeopardize. We need to take a step back and realize there is a massive problem if we are prioritizing synthetic production over endangered animals.